from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Another warm and wet Saturday. Jason will fill you in on your weekend forecast. Hey there, I'm Vanessa Arizo. Let's go ahead and get you caught up with your ABC Action News headlines first. We turn to South Florida, where challenges remain for the dozens of rescuers who continue to search for survivors following that catastrophic building collapse. Four people are confirmed dead. Meanwhile, 159 others remain missing. Rain and wind have been hampering the search, and shifting steel and concrete are putting the rescuers' lives at risk. Those rescuers have been dousing fires sparked by several combustible materials in that debris. Crews have been sifting through the rubble, sometimes by hand. Other hot times, they are using heavy machinery in order to dig deeper into the mangled mess of the twisted steel. All of that work has been done carefully as not to disturb pockets where survivors may be trapped. The new red tide map from Florida Fish and Wildlife shows high to medium levels of the toxic algae detected in the waters off Hillsborough County and Pinellas County. We want to take you through each place. Starting in Hillsborough, the County Department of Health just issued health alerts for Picnic Island and Davis Islands. And caution signs are up at Benty Davis Beach and Cypress Point. Officials say the red tide may irritate your eyes, your nose or throat, especially if you have breathing problems. Meanwhile, in Pinellas County, officials say most of the beaches look pretty good for the weekend. There are still problems with dead fish in the intracoastal areas, but Fort DeSoto, Sand Key, and Fred Howard Park are clear of red tide issues. Good news there. You can check the status of your favorite beach this weekend. Just head on over to abcactionnews.com slash links. The Tampa Bay Lightning beat the Islanders last night to advance to the Stanley Cup final. The first game is slated for Monday. The Bulls have home ice. Game four will be in Montreal on July 5th. Many of you may be off for Independence Day. If more games are needed, they will continue through Sunday, July 11th, which is when Game 7 would take place. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. We are expecting a mix of sun and clouds today and a return of those scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. No surprise there. It's in a typically normal forecast for us to see rain this time of year. So highs, upper 80s, lower 90s. Heat indices approaching 100, if not passing that. And then we'll see those thunderstorms, the most widespread threat for rainfall between 2 and 7 o'clock this afternoon and 2 tonight. The radar will stay active into your Sunday as well, but it looks like the coverage will be a little less. So from 60% coverage today to around 40 to 50% here on your Sunday. Vanessa. All right, thank you so much, Chase. Remember, ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Just make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there all day long. Enjoy your Saturday.